In this video, I'm going to show you another example of how to animate with value graph to control the speed of your animation. Now I've already got this file set up. You can take my file. I'm going to put it available to download so that you can use this file to practice. So here in the file, you can see I have this graphic here made of just one line and I have one layer at the bottom just as a hint of the logo what it looks like and then I can just lock it and on top I have another layer that's in color what I want to do is go to this down arrow and then come to this button here add a trim path effect and if I change the ending value of the trim path you can see the line is actually animating as if it's drawing onto the screen now I want to put this percentage at 3% to only show a portion of the line and then if I animate the offset value, if I change the offset value, you can see the lines are actually moving along the path. So this is how we want to animate this logo here. It's very simple. All I want to do is to put a keyframe here at 0 second when the value is 0 and then go to the 5th second and put one full rotation. Put one here in the front and if I preview the animation, this is what I get. The line is just traveling along the path. I can cut the preview here, hit on N, and that's how it's gonna loop. However, right now it's so boring, right? We didn't add any easing to it. We didn't change any of the value graph. It's just one simple animation with two default keyframe. Here, I want to show you how to use value graph to animate this. I want this thing to resemble as if there is gravity taking place so that when the line moves up to the top, it's, it's slowing down because it's going up, it's slowing down to the top. And then once it goes over the hump, it moves faster, faster, faster until this point here when the line needs to go up again, it slows down and then go faster again when it enters the slope and then it goes slow, quick and then slow, fast and then slowing and then go very fast. So basically I want to have this line to animate as if there's gravity taking place. Gravity in effect. How do we do that? First, we need to put a keyframe whenever there is speed change. Let's say on the zero second, there's, we have to have a keyframe at zero second. And then if I toggle the timeline over here, so before the line comes to the top, it should slow down. And then after it goes over the hump, it should go faster. So this is where the speed change, we need to add a keyframe. Now go forward over here. This is where the line needs to slow down and I need to add a keyframe. And then on the top, it needs to go faster, add a keyframe. And then over here, same thing should slow down starting from there. And then this point here should go faster starting from there and then this point speed change this point speed change and this point speed change and then this point speed change so those are all the points where the lines need to change in speed select all of them right click keyframe assistant easy ease this is going to be a default easing if we pre preview this that doesn't look right. It's not very smooth and then it just doesn't make sense. So now what we want to do, select all of them, go to the graph editor. You can see this is what it looks like. And I just want to select this offset value, go to this button fit to view. First, we need to think about it. So at this top point here, going into this point, 
the line should be slowing down because it's going up. Which means the line should already have a speed at the beginning. And then I don't want it to slow down all the way to zero because right now, if I just zoom in on this, hit Z on the keyboard and then zoom in, you can see this bezier handle is totally flat. I don't want it to be flat because it means the speed is zero. I just want it to slightly tilt a bit so that it's not flat. But when I drag the handle, you can see those two handles are broken. That's not what we want because we want the speed going in here and then going out to be the same. So what I need to do is just select this point here and then go to the convert selected keyframe to auto bezier which means the two handles are going to be locked together. And now you can see when I adjust one handle, the other one changes too. At this point, I just slightly want to adjust this handle with an angle so that it never stop. However, at the beginning, the line should go faster because otherwise there's not enough velocity for it to go over the hump at the top. So basically, at zero second, I want this to already have a speed. Remember, flatness equals zero, steepness equals speed. So I want this graph here to have a steeper slope here, to have a bigger angle. So it goes faster and then slowing down. And over here, at this point, it should go faster, 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 which means at this point, the Bezier handle, you see it's broken again. I just need to lock them together. The Bezier handle need to be on the angle, something like that, so that it has speed. And then from this point going out, it's already got a steeper angle. So that it means from this point going up, it's fast first with the momentum from the last part of the animation from this coming down. It still got the momentum. And then all of a sudden, when it reaches the top, it slows down again. But right now, this curve here, you can see it's flat, which means let me lock it first, which means it's zero. However, I don't want the speed to be zero, so I want it to slightly adjust this curve here. Something like that. And then, go to this frame. It's essentially the same thing. First, let's lock this and then same thing, put a steeper graph to it, something like this. So go faster. And then over here at the top, lock this. Over here, it's uh, slowing down, but I don't want it to be flat. Otherwise, it's going to mean zero. I don't want it to stop there. So it goes all the way over here. It should start picking up speed. Lock the handle. Change it to something like this. And then over here, same thing. Lock the handle. Give it a very gentle curve. And then keep going over here lock the handle this part it should start speeding up goes to the top from here it's gonna slow down we can first make it flat and then give it a slight angle and then at the end it's gonna be moving faster again something like that so if I see the whole graph, you can see this is what it looks like. It's very smooth. 
Now let's preview the animation. You can see now it's very smooth. There is speed change. When it goes up, it slows down, and then when it comes down, it moves faster, as if there's gravity taking place. And with this example, I just want to show you how to, by just manipulating the spacing of the animation and then using the value graph, you can actually achieve something that you are not able to achieve if you are not using the value graph. And then this animation is going to be super smooth and you can do so much to it. Now, if I want to do a logo reveal, I can maybe just duplicate this layer, Command D, and then put it behind that. Maybe I can move this back one frame or two frames so that it starts two frames slower, maybe just one frame, and then I can change the fill color of this to maybe a blue color. Something like that. Maybe I can duplicate another one, put it behind it, and then offset one frame, change this color to a bright yellow, something like that. And then if I preview, you can see there is two lines with two different colors that's trailing behind. But this time, the animation is much more complicated. It looks complicated, but it's very simple to do. And now what I want to do is maybe just unlock this one and then go to the... Oh, I don't have a um, trim path to it yet, so I can just add a trim path effect. And then maybe set the final end value at 100% at the fifth second mark and then go back to zero second, set the value to zero. And then I wanna change the opacity back to 100. Now, let's preview the animation. It's almost like a draw on effect. So this is how we animate this logo reveal.